We are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. <laughs> Chef John Granada, TV Maitre D, Joe Zito from Camille's. We are cooking up a storm. Yeah, oh, let me ask you a question. Nice. Yes. Let me yes. just say, after yesterday's show, is this the best wardrobe you can come this up with? This is the best I have. Let me tell you, after what, yesterday, what I, went I, left out. I went to go home and like power wash my face and get all that makeup off my face. This is what you're stuck with today. Maybe all yesterday right. was better. Well, it'll have to do. Yeah. What are we, uh, what are we cooking today? Um, not your favorite, but... Well, that's all right. We're gonna okay. do. We're going to do a classic <laughs> Italian. It's actually a classic Italian-American dish. Um, shrimp and scallops, oreganata. Okay. Mm. Now... Online, I have the recipe. Now, in this recipe that they're showing right now, I don't have, you have to add one teaspoon of oregano to this. Mm -hmm. I forgot to put that in. Okay. But anyway, basically what it is, it's very easy. You just, it's like a shrimp scampi. We're gonna saute in extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna make a compound garlic butter, which we're gonna whip uh, regular butter, mm -hmm. garlic, white wine, lemon, and uh, a little bit of parsley. And that's gonna pr pretty much bring everything together at the end. Okay. And the difference between the oregano and the, uh, Scampi is we add some breadcrumbs and we put a little bit of really high quality Chianti red wine vinegar in it. Right. <clears throat> and then we put uh, a little bit of oregano in it. Delicious. And that's going to bring everything out. We're going to toss it with some capellini. And it's a very classic dish. And, and good. we'll be good to go. All right, perfect. All right. We are going to get cooking in just a little bit. In the meantime, back to you. We're heading back to that kitchen where there's some three fun guys. How's it going, Will? It is going very well. We are going to get set to uh, to start cooking up our meal this morning. What are we going to do now? I didn't get any Charleston Chews trick or treat. No Charleston night. Chews. Any uh, any uh, Reese's peanut butter cups? I got Reese's peanut oh, butter yeah. cups. Somebody, somebody, somebody gave me those holes. bitter honeys. <laughs> no, I don't like those either. All right. No. All right. What are we doing now? Okay, we're going to put a little extra virgin olive oil in the mm -hmm. pan, and we're going to take these beautiful jumbo They're gulf big. shrimp. Yeah. And we're going to flour them. Okay. And now, may, may I say something, Chef, to the, the viewers at home regarding this? Because there are a lot of people who somehow don't like to go uh, right. to the trouble with fresh seafood, right. particularly when it comes to shrimp. So they'll go and they'll buy pre-cooked deveined shrimp in the store, which is all well and good. But then they'll cook it again and find out that there's no flavor and, right. well, and then they're, 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 they're no moisture. Has everything already been cooked out already? Yes. Yeah. Well, if you... if you know, maybe that's the only thing you can get at the time, mm -hmm. and you were going to do that, then I suggest what you do is bypass this part, do the sauce, mm -hmm. and then at the very last minute, you add the shrimp that's already cooked to the sauce, and, um, you know, it may be okay. Just okay. don't through. double cook it. Right, you don't yeah, want to double cook okay. yeah. it. Because you don't want to dry out the seafood. You pay all that money for it, you want it, it's, it's rubber, and you it's beautiful. And okay. then you go and you blame the guy. Right. For yeah. it. You know what I mean? Right. For uh, so anyway, basically what we're going to do is we're going to sear these on both sides, Okay. Um, season it with a little salt and pepper, and when we come back, I'm going to pull them out, I'm going to make the sauce, put them back in, toss it with the pasta. And how long, because these, they, these are so big, how long are we going to let these stay well, the, in the pan for? The key is, is not so much time as it is what to look for. We're going to look for a deep color on one side, mm -hmm. you know? Right. If both sides are going to look like this, and in the middle, all that opaque is going to be gone. It's going to be gone. Okay. Now, you don't want to go so far where it's like, you know, you hit it and it bounces back at you. Right. And especially with scallops, because scallops can actually be, be eaten like in a medium to medium rare type thing. Now, if you get, you're against that, you can go a little longer. Okay. But I suggest that you keep the moisture in the fish. All right. Good. We have these uh, sizzling away here in this pan, and we are going to put everything together in our next segment. In the meantime, back to you. In the Roadshow Kitchen with my two favorite guys, TV Mater D, Joe Zito, and Chef John Granada from Camille's. says that. I'll say it again, you're my two favorite guys. Oh! Only when you're in the kitchen, though, because <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, of course. Okay. All, right. <laughs> All right, John, where do we stand okay, with our dish? Okay, we sauteed off the shrimp and scallops, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, now I'm going to show you how fast this goes. Okay. I'm going to turn it back up high, we'll put a little white wine. You can, at this point, if you want to put extra garlic, you can do that, too. But we don't really need that. Okay. White wine, a little bit of chicken stock. Mm -hmm. Online is the recipe for the compound garlic butter. Okay. Okay. Garlic I'm gonna put butter, about a cup of garlic <laughs> butter. Yeah. We're this not messing not around today. today. No, we're splurging a little. Yeah. It's an indulgence. Why not? I'm gonna do a little squeeze of lemon. Okay. Because you already have lemon in the garlic butter, so you don't have to go crazy with that. Gotcha. Salt. Pepper. Pecorino Romano, which is like a sacrilege if you were in Italy to put this with seafood, but you know yes. what? We're in Rhode Island. We're not in Italy. Right, no. exactly. <laughs> breadcrumbs. I like seasoned breadcrumbs. Okay. Nice touch. You wouldn't okay. think to put breadcrumbs no, right in I there with I the would. pasta. Right, you're going to bring all this together. You're going to see how this works. From fresh parsley, 
Little color. We're gonna, yeah, and we're gonna put the seafood back in. We're gonna bring it to a boil. We got about pasta boiling, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna show everything how it comes together. Do we need to cover this, or is it gonna no, stay open? No, because if you cover it, you might tend to walk away and overdo it. You know it. what I mean? And you do, definitely do not want to over overcook this seafood because you paid a lot of money for it. So yeah, that that's true. There's a lot going on in there, you so know? that's gonna kind of cook away in there. And Joe, I know you always got of wine course. with the menu. Yeah, um, for our regular viewers, this is a wine that I'm very fond of. I've had it on the show before. Mm -hmm. It is a white wine from Tuscany. What I like about it, and of course, it beautifully complements this fresh seafood but what I like about it it's a blend of three different grapes it's part Chardonnay part Sauvignon Blanc and part Pinot Grigio Yum. it's called Centenay it's from Banffy Vineyards one of the most respected vintners in all of Italy mm -hmm. and it's only ten dollars a bottle that's even and better. it's a wine that's made tailor-made for this wonderful wonderful dish mm -hmm. so I love Centenay and I think you can find it anywhere by the way of course it's always you find it at Gasparro's too but you can find it most anywhere I love that. Yeah, and, and something about white wine and seafood, they just go together. So if you can't decide which of your favorite white wine to pick, this is all three. I know. We need a pasta time chef. Yeah, let's see, let's see what that bowl is. I know. He's multitasking. On. Yeah. All right. No, no. Don't, let, we'll just keep it right in there. We don't hurt anybody. What does he know about this? You know? Right. I mean, he's, he's only wearing a chef jacket. Yeah, that doesn't Let's have the bowl. Okay, and what kind of pasta are we using I today? I like capellini because it's a cla it's classic with this because it's a, like I said before it's a lot like shrimp scampi but only mm -hmm. the difference is that here's the difference. You ready? Yes. At the end, we're gonna put a little bit of Chianti vinegar. Now, good Chianti mm. vinegar, and you're gonna see why. You're gonna say, "Wow, that's kind of strange," but you're gonna see why. it does you're seem a out. bit strange. <laughs> Yum! This looks great. And you're going to see that how the sauce is. Oh, thank you. I will take that. That's for you. I'm just going to dump a little bit of this thank sauce on you. there for you. Go for it. Oh, wow. yum. This looks so good. Do you have any new fall items, too, for you? Yeah, um, we've been on doing your a menu? lot of uh, pork and pumpkin with porcini uh, uh, risotto. Mm -hmm. We're doing um, the pasta dish that I did last week, uh, a couple of weeks ago on the show with yep. the uh, whole wheat papa doll. Oh, Beautiful. yeah. I liked that one. Yep. And you know the date has snuck up on us, but it is November first, and it is the perfect Man. time to call Mike Dagnan at the restaurant and book your holiday parties because you want you know what the space every day gets a Man. little crazier for the chef and Chef Andrea. And I bet this is incredible with a dish like this. I'm sure you're already getting many many a call yeah, for is, holiday this is, parties. This is a classic dish. This is mm -hmm. something that was on the menu way back. When you know, I was a waiter there was in the 80s. <laughs> yeah. A very long time uh, ago. That's, oh, you don't kidding. even know the 80s. I'm kidding. All right. If you Covered want if you and... want this delicious recipe, you yeah. can as always head to our website, WPRI.com.